Hey, 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 all right, everybody. So, what have I done this time? Well, as you can see in my hand, I've got a rear shock absorber. Now, this is the original one, and it says on there, HLT100, and it does say on there, 750 pounds. I don't know if you can see it from there. I'll stretch as far as I can. Oh, <laughs> but it does say 750 pounds. If you can't see it, take my word for it. Anyway, so what I've done, I've changed the shock for another one, and it's quite a cheap shock because I ordered a DNM rear shock from AliExpress, waited about two weeks, looked at the tracking, and I said it was sent back to the supplier because they can't send hydraulic units or something like that. So I was like, Ooh. So I waited two, two or three weeks. I think it was two, in between two or three weeks before I actually seen the tracking. And then I messaged it to the seller on AliExpress and said, what's going on? And he said, oh, it's come back to us. You can ask for a refund if you want. What do you mean if you want? <laughs> of course I want a refund. Blinking heck, innit? So, right, so anyway, bit of a waffle. So I went on, so I was a bit miffed off. So I went on Amazon, had a quick look around, and I seen this cheap shock run about 27 quid. I'll, I'll pull what it is, I'll put the price, but there, and the name of it, right there. But there, right, okay? So that's what it is, right? Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but, there, but I'll bring the camera in in a minute. But there's the original one, and the reason why I wanted to change this is because I just, I know you can't move your hands, but it doesn't, it's like, I know when you build a bike, when they build, manufacturers build bikes, they've got to sort of build bikes for all sorts of weights. So maybe I'm a bit too light. I'm not even that light, so I don't know. But it didn't seem to be moving a lot. And my fill-in seemed to be falling out quite a bit. <laughs> so I've put this one on. I'll bring the camera in. Come a bit closer. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. And there's the new shock there. And it's as easy as undoing this bolt here and there's another one at the top. So it's easy peasy to undo. Um, the, only other thing, the only other thing is, um, there are wires by here. So I'm gonna have to put a cable tie there because the other shock, I don't, when I showed you the other shock, it's sort of smooth. This one might catch against the spring slightly, but I'll, I'll put a couple of cable ties there. But anyway, this hopefully, if I, if I move this, this one's moving a little bit. See, this, move, this one's actually moving a bit. <laughs> Whereas I couldn't move the other one much at all. Now, this is just temporary and I want to try it out because the, I want to put, I want to get the DNM rear shock on you, which will be obviously be far better than this cheap shock from Amazon. But I want to try this one out. So I think the best thing to do is jump on the bike, put my helmet on or put my helmet on first. I don't know which way to do it. <laughs> Jump on the bike and let's go and find some rough stuff. I think I might go and try. I did a trail last week on a Hovsko A5. So if you haven't seen that video, it's I did a nice couple of trails on the mountains in South Wales. Uh, and I think I'll try that again and see if this spring is any better than the last one. And we'll we'll try some hill tests as well and see what this one's like compared to the hill test I did last week. So it should be a laugh. So join me, come on, let's go for a bike ride. Ho, 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 ho. Hey, 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 all right then. So here I am, out on the open road, or the mountain road, I should say, uh, climbing up a big hill. This is going up towards Caffini Mountain. Uh, it's about 10 a.m. in the morning on a Sunday, and it's, it's a bit of a heat wave going on here in the UK, so it's quite warm. It's quite warm already, so I've decided to come out early. Anyway, I've got a new shock on the back, and uh, we've got a thousand watts powering us up this hill. And it's going up here quite easy, actually. I do a little bit of pedaling. I don't have to do a bit of pedaling because I, I can just do the sort of look. It's still the same. <laughs> but uh, saves a bit of battery when I do a bit of pedaling, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, so we're going to go up by here. Same route I did last week on uh, another e-bike. And we're going to put it through this paces, take you through some rough stuff. It's a good test, really. It's a good test to see exactly if this bike can hold up to some sort of, I'd say, a bit of light off-roading, that's why I'd call it light off-roading. But uh, I'll get up this hill a little bit by here, and then there's a sort of a, there's a left turn, and that takes you onto the trails. And I should be stuck on them trails for quite a while, because they're sort of wiggly-piggly. Um, but uh, the, the bike I did on last week was a 250 watt, 36 volt electric bike. And this is obviously a 48 volt, 
1,000 watt electric bike with fat tyres. So <laughs> obviously the fat tyres are a bit harder to, to turn around, but we got more power. So we'll try some hills and see what happens. Let's get in here. <laughs> that was a bit... <laughs> this bike's a bit wider than the other one, so... I had to stop, I thought I was going to hit the pedals, but anyway... Here we are on the Caffini Trails. There's loads of Caffini Trails. So, uh, we head up that way there. And there's a turn to the right with the big hill. But I could go further on. I'm not quite sure yet, but... Um, but uh, we, I'm trying to test this rear shock to see if it's any better than the original shock. And my initial impressions is new shock, so it might need time to bed in. It's a tiny bit better, but only marginally. <laughs> So um, I, I can feel a bit of, bit of bounce. There's a little bit of bounce there now, whereas before it was, it was rock solid. So, um, but like I said in the video earlier, uh, I am gonna try and get a d and I'll put on the screen exactly what the one I'm thinking of buying, but I couldn't get it from, from China because they said uh, the, the delivery company wouldn't um, post, uh, com you know, hydraulic pressured items. So anyway, uh, last week I stopped by here. I could go there, that way, or was up that way to a big hill. I did go that way last time. If I go that way, it will eventually take me back up there. So let's go and have a peek down here and have a look what's cooking and see what's happening. And uh, it should take me back up that hill there, hopefully. Oh! <laughs> It's a bit bumpy this road is, but, but but then, wait a minute, no, I wanted to try that hill, didn't I? So, scrap the idea. <laughs> I came here for a hill. Oh, dog poo, dog poo. Oh, just avoided the dog poo then. Oh, there's nothing worse than dog poo on your tyres, is it? Luckily, this has got big mud guards so you don't get <laughs> dog poo flung in your face. Anyway, right. So, let's go up that way, like I just said. Not go that way. We'll go up here. There's a big hill. Now I'm not expecting to. Let me put it in the high. Is it? Uh, I don't know. Let me put it in the highest gear because I'm going to need that. So let's. Uh, that's that way, isn't it? So let's, let's get, get moving a minute. Let's put it in. Let's put in that gear there, and then I'm only on setting number one, so. But it does give you full torque, so we'll have a look up here now. So, this this trail here turns into a massive, huge hill by here. It's even hard to walk up, uh, which I think I will be doing in a minute, but I'm not expecting this bike to get all the way up here. But I am going to put... I am thinking of putting a CYC motor on, and I have got... Actually, I'll put a clip now of me explaining what I got. So here's a clip of me explaining what I got, and then we'll come back to this bit. Right, okay, by here I got a CYC uh, X1 Pro Gen 3 adapter kit, and this is an adapter kit for 100 millimeter bottom crank there. This crank here is 100 millimeters across, and so I've got the CYC kit, but it's for a 68, 73, 83 crank. I think it's got the adapters for that but you've got to get a separate one for 100 mil, and then you've got to get another one for 120 mil. So the, the adapter for 68, 73, 83, I think it is, comes in one kit with the, with the thing, but you can order it with this one, or you can order it with the 120. It all depends what you want. But if you order the wrong one and then you change your bike, you've got to buy another one. But this, this would have cost 150 quid, 150 pounds, I shouldn't say quid, should I? Uh, 150 pounds, but because I've done CYC uh, videos, it did give me a discount, I think it was 40%, I think it was. Um, so I think it cost about 100 pound, I think, altogether. And this kit comes with a, I'll come over there a bit closer. Now I haven't taken it out of the bag, or the thingy, but in there is, I don't know if you can see, let me, let me take this end out by here. You can see that there's the uh, cranky axle bit there, and that's for the 100 mil version. And it comes with another a different one of them. I think that's a bit wider, that thing there, that comes with that. And it comes with a, a 
clamp bar is wider and longer because obviously the the axle's wider and there's a few other bits in there. I'm running out of hands now though. Uh, there's the other side. I don't know if you can see that in here. I am taking it. Let me take it out. I'll take it out and you see it then. There's that bit there. And a couple of spacers. A couple of bolts. I think that's about it. And um, so I'll uh, buy that to try and put the CYC kit on there. I, it should fit. I don't know if it'll fit or not, see? I'll have to try it. Um, I'll have to take all that off and try it or, or offer it up and see what it's like. But that would give me 3,700 watts. <laughs> but I couldn't go, you know, wanging it like that because it might damage that. So I'd have to be gentle with it. But it'll fly up hills. Anyway, that's the kit. Let's get back to the uphill on this bike before or after. I can't remember it, if it's before or after. No, I've done it. So it was before. I don't know. Let's get back to it. <laughs> right, so here we go. This is really, really steep now, but... I, oh, it's, it, it is actually getting up here with a bit of with a bit of pedaling, but in front I don't know if you can see in front of me here. Like I said before, many many times the camera doesn't show the hills. Now this is almost vertical, but I'm not expecting to get up here. But I'm almost to the top. Look, and, and it's going to be awkward to get off now. I'm going to have to stop by here because. Oh, this is a hill and a half. Oh, wish you could see this on. How oh, can I? How oh, can I? If I turn to the, if I turn this way and I've come all the way up there, I've almost made it. Now the CYC, I think, will get me up there. So that's going to be the next upgrade. So uh, let's let's do a bit of throttling. Then it'll take me up here now, because it's even heavy to push the bike up here. But oh, I better do the old. Is it hold it down? Right, there we go, we got it on the P, whatever that means. P for power assist, <laughs> I don't know. But it gives it a slow walking function. So instead of me pushing the bike up the hill. What the hell was that? Uh, I think a stick went in the wheel head. So this gives me, I don't have to push the bike then, do I? So let's get up here. Right. Now, I don't know if you can see in front of me there. I think that's like some downhill bikers come down that way there. That's crazy, isn't it? Oh, I'm a bit puffed out. Anyway, if you watched last week's video, you know, I came up there and I had to stop much further down. I, I stopped by there, so if I was a bit fit, I probably could have got up there. But anyway, I'm going to travel to the top where it gets a little bit more bumpy. I'll see you in a minute. That's not a very nice sign, is it? Your dog could be shot if found among sheep. Dogs must be kept on a lead. Keep your dogs on a lead. Also, cows with calves in the field, not so bad. Beware the bull. What? <laughs> right. Last week, I'm going to get up by here. Last week, I went down that way because they said that was the quicker route. And they said, there's these, these blokes I stopped, but they didn't talk to them. They said that was the quicker route. That was the longer route. I'm going to go, I'm going to go the longer route, <laughs> okay, because it's a nice day out, isn't it? Let's get going, let's get up here. It's a big hill, mine, by the way, again, way, but, um, I mean, it's got a thousand watts of power, so it is, it is making it a little bit easier to get up these hills, so try and watch some of the sticking up twigs, because I don't want to get a punch, do I? But, uh, yeah. It's actually concrete path by here. I don't know, don't know why that's concrete, but there we are. I must be coming from the farm. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! 
Right, okay, I've stopped by here because it's quite a nice view and I thought it's a nice time to stop and have a quick look at the bike and see what's going on. Give my views on this old shock absorber. So I have stopped by here, look, it's quite a nice view. I can see right across the mountains. A bit of a haze here because it says we are due thunderstorms today, so I hope I don't get caught in one. But I've never been on this road before, so I do like to stop and have a look around. <laughs> but I don't know if you can see there, look, there's the shock there, look, okay. Now, like I said, I am going to try and get a DNM rear shock. I don't want to go too expensive because you, you can go a bit mental, can you? But this is, the one I've replaced it with is 190 and I think the other one's 190 as well. I'm not sure. I wonder if you put a 200, it'd give you a little bit more height, wouldn't it? I wonder. Or it might, it might put the geometry out a bit. But anyway, so that is it there. That is the shock there. And this one is rated at £1,000, which is... I, I made a bit of a mistake there because the other one was 750 but it wouldn't move. But this one does move, so I think the rating on here is a bit squiffy. <laughs> but um, there's a little bit more movement in the back end. Now, I had a DM shock before and it did have more movement, so I will get a DM shock. But I wanted to try this one just to see if it was a bit better for my old bones. But um, I think what we do now, a bit more testing, I'll carry on up that way there. Uh, it'll come out at the top of the mountain there soon because I went that way last time this is a new road for me so it's all exciting stuff <laughs> and then when I get to the top and around I will be going downhill so I'll give this bike a little bit of a you know I've done a few tests on this bike but we'll give it a bit more of a because it is quite look that frame is quite sturdy isn't it it's quite beefy so I mean it's got double bits there a thick bit there two there that's thick so I mean the actual frame frame is really strong isn't it uh, and we see how these wheels hold up i suppose but this is a thousand watts is making my life a lot easier on these hills uh, so a thousand watts is good but the cyc is 3750 watts so <laughs> but the only thing is if i put that on will Will I be able to take it? Uh, well, it all depends how I drive it, doesn't it? Let's get going anyway, because I'm starting to waffle now. But uh, get the old gloves on, because if you fall off, you're going to hurt your hands, isn't it? So even though it's warm, I'm still wearing gloves, because it's a sensible thing to do. And I'm also wearing a helmet, because that's a sensible thing to do. Don't be one of them e-bikers who drives around with no helmet on. It's just daft. If you come off and bang your head, you're done for. Anyway, I'm waffling again. Let's get going. <laughs> oh, let's turn the bike on first. Eh? <laughs> I am turned the bike on. I went to, went to go off and I was going backwards. Uh, we'll put it on two. It'll be, be a bit daring now. It doesn't matter about one or two because it gives you the full torque. It just gives you less speed limit. So anyway, let's get going up here. And I'll see you in a minute when I get to the top. Unless something exciting happens, which I doubt. But uh, I'll see you when I get to the top. <laughs> Right, okay, I've made it to the top of the mountain. I don't know if you can see. Over there's loads of sheep and cows. Uh, down, down that way. I think that's where the quarry is going to be that way. And I think you can see Cardiff down that way. Let's have a quick look down this way. Down here. Do a little bit of off-roading. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to go on these bits of land, but I wonder if I can see that hill there. Let's give it a bash, is this? Come on, let's have a go. <laughs> Here we go. Whey! Look at that. Oh, right, there we are. I'm on top of the hill now. Look, okay. <laughs> Don't want to go down there, but um, yeah. So it's a lovely walk along here. Quite a lot of people walk along here, but I've come. I've gone up early to try and beat everybody else. But there's a farm down there that sells ice creams and ice lollies, I think, in the summer. Um, and down that way, it's Cardiff. It's a bit hazy today though, so you can't see down there, but uh, Cardiff's down that way. The farm's that way. Caffili is that way. And I think the quarry is this way. So let's go and have a look that way. i got to get back down now. <laughs> right, let's turn around. And go. I'll go down this way for a laugh. Hang about. Let's go down this way. Nice bumpy hill. There we go. Well, I'll go back round here watching the poops. Oh, I'm going to say as well, also, if you're watching this video and you're new to this video, 
go and have a look at the Angry M20 reviews I've done and also have a look at the, I did a brake upgrade, two or three discs on the back, two or three discs on the front, four pot caliper on the front, Shimano, uh, two pot caliper on the back, Shimano. Then I've got upgraded hydraulic brakes on the front because this bike originally come with mechanical brakes and 160 discs. So if you're new to this video, go and check out the playlist and it should be uh, the upgrades for, for the, the discs on here. I mean, and the next upgrade hopefully is, is either, I want to do a dual motor version and Engui are supposed to be sending me another battery, but it hasn't turned up yet. So if Engui, if you're watching, <laughs> can you send me another battery, please? Uh, they said it's going to be sent out on the 5th of June, but um, I haven't heard anything yet. And it's, is it the 10th? It's the 11th of June today. So anyway, so go and have a look at them. That's the upgrades on the brakes and they work fantastically well. But let's go down this way and have a look at the quarry and I'll see you in a minute. Woohoo! Okay then, I'm going a bit slow by here because I'm coming towards the other side of the quarry that I came to last week. I won't come in here too fast because <laughs> I don't want to go over the edge. I can see where the edge is over there basically, but you've got to be careful, haven't you? And there's some thistles by here, so I don't want to ride over them either. So, so um, which is the best place? I think down by here is the best place to go. Uh, I've gone a bit too far now, let's have a look. Let's see if I can get the bike over there. Let's go down here, over there. Down here looks like this is the edge. Da -da -da. Right, let's turn that off. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want e-bike going flying over there, do I? Now then, let's get off the bike. Look at that quarry there. Look at it. The amount of stuff that's been taken out of there. That's quite a lot of brick, isn't it? Let's go a little bit closer. And I don't know if you can see how hilly it is down there. Not quite as bad as over there. I was over there. I was over there last time, up on that top bit there. Um, so I was looking down from that cliff over there, which is quite a bit more of a drop than this one. This one looks a bit more... It's a bit ouchy. I mean, it's a bit ouchy if you fall down that one, but it's a bit more ouchy if you fall down that one. <laughs> I think that one's terminal over there, if you go fall on that one. You could probably survive this one if you roll down a bit. But I was trying to look at what this said by, by here from over there, and it looks like it says send nudes. <laughs> so, so instead of saying SOS help, it says send nudes. So some some youngsters have taken the time to do that look. <laughs> Plenty of bricks there. They must have collected them all and did that. Probably a lot of camping goes on by here because there's a path coming from that way there. So so anyway, that's the quarry. Quite nice, isn't it? I might take a photo now. Anyway, let's get back on the road. Right, if you watched last week's video, or you may not have, <laughs> this is the way I came last time when I said I came by here and I stopped because I seen danger, quarry edge. <laughs> so when you see a danger sign, you know, you're sort of drawn towards it, aren't you? Let's go and have a look where the danger is. <laughs> but this is the way I came last time. And uh, this is the quarry edge that I came to last time from this side. You can see I was just standing over there. I don't know if you can see it says, send nudes down here. <laughs> uh, so I was just standing over that side. I've gone back around, come down there, back up this path. The path gets terrible, but it gets absolutely awful, but it's all rocks, boulders, because of it, it, the water's come down and eroded the path. But anyway, so I'm going to turn around now and go downhill. And let's see what the bike is like downhill with the new brakes on. It could be exciting, could be pretty boring. Uh, so I'll turn around this way. The path is quite, quite nice by here for a while until it starts going downhill then. And when I get to the bottom of the hill, I've got a bit of an itch. <laughs> it's, I think it's about quarter to 11 now, or 10.45 a.m. Uh, and the bugs are starting to come out. And uh, we do get mosquitoes in the UK around about July. But anyway, let's get down this path. It's June, not July, but by the way. So there might not be mosquitoes out yet. But anyway, let's get down the path. Come on. All right, there we go. Let's just check the bike over. Nothing's fallen off yet. Bit dusty. 
a bit dusty, yeah, right then. Let's go. Oh, there's a lot of rocks and stuff around you. So you've got to be careful. But uh, so far, the bike is standing up well. Let's get down here anyway. Ooh. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. Cheers. That was nice. The gate was held open for me. I know what it feels like to be royalty now. <laughs> oh, bloody this, this is bumpy. <laughs> oh, blimey. Go on, bouncing everywhere. Uh, right, stones. Got to watch these stones. A bit, lump, bit lumpy and bumpy, by here, but uh, I'll slow down a bit because I'm going a bit too fast. So, a little bit of an uphill, and I think it's downhill then, if I remember rightly. But uh, let's get up this bit here. Right, okay, I can see the last. This is the last gate before civilization. <laughs> Uh, so, I've made it. The Engui M20 is, uh, it's made it down all this downhill stuff. Oh, there's a bit of a drop there. There we go. Right. So this is the last gate here. And then just beyond this gate is the main road. So let's get through the gate. See if we can get through this one. It's a pity there wasn't somebody to hold the gate every single time. But there we are. <laughs> Let me just get through here like that. Try and get through without unlocking that. Please close the gate, so I will, if I can stop there, pull that lever, oh, it's got to be lifted up, bang about, put that down there, it's a bit of a drop on the hinge, so manual power, there we go, right, that's locked, let's go around that, looks like old manure, and then down by here, and go past a sort of farmy thing, and just around the corner should be... Oh, look at that little little building there. It's quite small. There. Can't be anybody living in it, can it? It must be for someone else. It's a garage. Oh, and uh, cottage -y type farmhouse there. And then, here we go. The main road is down by here. So, we made it. <laughs> I made it, but... I did make it, but... If you saw last week's video, it's a big, huge hill by here, and I don't think the bike can make it up there. So, anyway, I'll catch you later, back at the house, do a bit of an outro, and tell you what I think of the, the rear shock. Anyway, catch you in a bit. Woohoo! Hey, hey, all right then. Made it back, safe and sound. Now, would I, you know, would I recommend buying this rear shock? The answer is no. <laughs> because it's only marginally better than the other one. It is cheap and cheerful, uh, but it's only a tiny, tiny bit better. And like I said, uh, I know the DNM shock absorbers have got more of a spring in them because I've had one before. So I'm gonna have to get one of them. I, I, I just, it was next day delivery for this shock. So I thought, I'll give it a go. <laughs> and it is a tiny bit better, like I said, None of my fillings fell out, so it's not so bad, is it? Uh, and the bike, look, it made it back. Nothing fell off, nothing broke. I went downhill, I went over rocks, I went over dirt. <laughs> and I came back with over half a battery as well, so that's not too bad. And I was out for about an hour and 45 minutes, so on the lanes and whatnot and hills and everything. Uh, so I think it's one of my favourite bikes, this Engui M20. So <laughs> I do recommend the bike. And like I said, you can modify it to the way you want it. Anyway, if you like this video, go on, go on, go on. Give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Hoi! -ho